On this episode of The Quest Kids, spiders attack the castle. Empty Belly is in a cage and Crash and Flint save the day. Stick around. It was a beautiful day at the Treasure Falls Castle. The king and his men were enjoying a tasty lunch. Who would like some refreshments? Here you go, Mackenzie. Let's eat, drink, and be merry. Above the castle, Empty Belly, the perpetually hungry pirate, was locked in a cage. Can we have some food, king? Of course you can have some food. Quither, get the pirate some meat. However, the queen had other ideas. Empty Belly cannot have food. He is learning a lesson because he stole from our friend, Tink. We'll let him out in the morning. I like the king's idea better. Well, what about Hotfoot? Surely the captain of my king's guard can have some lunch? Your grace, I most politely decline. I shall continue my watch over Treasure Falls. And sir, I do not think it is a great idea to have the royal treasure out in the courtyard for anybody to see. I have to agree with Hotfoot. You never know who may be watching. I'm certainly not watching. I'm just hungry. Nobody's watching. It's a beautiful day and I'm enjoying my treasure while eating with my men. However, it looked like somebody was watching. Slithers, a snake of Treasure Falls. Interesting. I shall go tell my friend Legs about this. The treasure will be ours. Later, deep in a cave under the mountains of Treasure Halls, Slithers meets with his friend Legs. Slithers? What brings you to this part of the caves? Legs. You won't believe what the king has out for anybody to take. Let's go see. Legs and his silly spider friends were waiting outside the castle. What's the plan, Dunbarth? We're giant spiders. We don't need a plan. Let's just go get that treasure. Meanwhile, at the castle, Hotfoot decided to take a quick lunch. But his lunch was quickly interrupted. Great googly moogly! Spiders! You heard Hotfoot, men? He sounded the alarm. Did someone say spiders? I, I don't like spiders. Keep me in the cage. I don't need food. The spiders were at the gates of the Treasure Falls Castle. Spiders have too many legs. My friend Peggy the pirate only has one leg. That's enough legs, not eight. And in the face of trouble, the Queen of Treasure Falls was ready with orders for her men. Hotfoot, get your men on the walls. Yes, ma'am. Empty belly? Yes, ma'am. Eat this turkey leg and please be quiet. <laughs> Yes, Mom. <laughs> Honey, will you please put your treasure away? Yes, Mom. Lastly, Mackenzie. Yes, Mom. Get up and please send an arrow to the Quest Kids for help. Have it read only one word. Back at the Quest Kids treehouse, Crash was up high on the lookout perch, reading his spell book when Flint returned home from an afternoon walk. Hey, Crash. I see you're up high. That's usually my department. What are you doing? Oh, hi, Flint. I'm just studying my spell book, but man, this spell, I just, I can't figure it out. It has me stumped. Let me hear. Maybe I can help. It says, beware when wrong is what you choose to do, because what was once on me is now on you. To me, that sounds like treat others like you'd like to be treated. We talk about that all the time at the Quest Kids. But Crash was still discouraged. I know, I'm just... I never seem to get these spells right. And I'm the youngest of seven brothers and all six of my older brothers were great Quest Kid wizards. I just want to be great. Like them. 
Just keep studying and believe in yourself, Crash. You'll get there. But Crash and Flint's conversation was suddenly interrupted. Whoa! It looks like an arrow from the castle. Is that note on it? What's the note say, Flint? Oh, spiders! Oh no, that can't be good! It must be Legs and his friends. It looks like the king and queen need some help from the quest kids. Let's go! Meanwhile, back at the castle, Hotfoot and his men fought bravely to keep the spiders at bay. Inside the castle, the king was putting his treasure away. I'm so getting blamed for this. Hotfoot, sir, I could use some help. Happy to help, McKinsey. Fighting giant spiders is one of my favorite things to do. Let go, you silly spider. <clears throat> That's Hotfoot. It looks like his men are in trouble. It's the quest, kids. Hooray! Oh, what a relief. Hey, fellas. Hey, guys. First spiders, and now the quest kids. This is not Empty Belly's day. Crash, Flint, your timing is impeccable. We couldn't have held them for much longer. It looks like you have an arachnid problem, Mom. How can we help? Flint, you can help Hotfoot and his men on the walls. And Crash, join us in the courtyard to help devise a plan. Okay, Crash. Legs and his silly friends are at the walls, said the Queen. How can you help us? But once again, Crash was not sure of himself. I, d I don't know, Queen. I don't have any spells that get rid of big spiders. I'm, I'm just not sure how I can help. Flint, I have a couple of spiders over here that I could use some help with. On my way, Hotfoot, said Flint. First, Flint dealt with legs, and then he helped Hotfoot deal with the other spider. But as he was doing that, legs climbed over the wall and snuck up behind Flint. Flint, look out! And legs grabbed Flint and pulled him over the wall. Flint fell over the wall! Okay, that's it, said the king. If the spiders want my treasure, let them come and get it. I think the king is right, said the queen. Hotfoot, get your men down to the gates. I think the spiders will breach the wall soon. Crash wanted to help. He wanted to think of a spell that could help prevent a fight with the spiders. But what could it be? You keep the dragon pinned down, said Legs. I'll go help Seven with the gate. Okay, men. Remember your training and remember our words. If you act with courage and honor above all, then Treasure Falls will never fall. Those are some good words. I hope that they keep the spiders out because I don't like spiders and I especially don't like spiders' webs. That gave Crash an idea. The spell that he was working on earlier today. What did it say? Beware when wrong is what you choose to do, because what was once on me is now on you. King! Queen! I think I have an idea! Crash shared his plan with the king and queen. That sounds like a typical quest kid's plan, said the king. Brave, bold and dangerous. Are you sure you want to do it, Crash? I'm sure said Crash. Open the gates. Ha! 
my legs! I think you and your friends should leave. The treasure is the king and queen's, not yours. You hear that, Seven? said Legs. One little quest kid thinks he can scare us away by asking nicely. You know what, Crash? You're about to be in a sticky situation. <laughs> then Legs and Seven did what spiders do. They spun a web and they put the web on Crash. You see what I mean, Crash? <laughs> a sticky situation. <laughs> sticky situation. <laughs> I did it, boss, because our spider webs are sticky. <laughs> As Legs and Seven entered the castle, the king and queen and their men prepared for battle. For treasure falls! Hey Legs, I have one last thing to say. Beware when wrong is what you choose to do, because what was once on me is now on you! That quest kid turned the tables on us. I'm stuck. It looks like my friends are in trouble. <laughs> See you guys later. So, dragons are not known for their hearing, but I'm sure I heard you use that spell that you were having problems with. I did flint, and it worked. I guess I'm getting better at this magic stuff. Huzzah! The, the castle, castle is saved. saved. And then Hotford said, Men, get these spiders out of the king and queen's castle. Yes, yes sir! Get this spider web off me! Ugh, it's really stuck, boss! Ouch! Hey! Sorry, legs. Thank you once again, Crash and Flint, for helping us said the queen. Yes, said the king. You fought bravely and with honor. It's no problem at all, said Crash. It's the quest kid's quest to help others in need. And Crash, said the queen, I want you to know that I served with all six of your older brothers and your wizard family will be proud of your actions here today. Thank you, queen. That means a lot. I learned today to listen to my friends when they're telling me to believe in myself. That's a great lesson, Crash, said the king. I learned a lesson today as well, one I've learned many times before. My treasure should be put away, and my wife, the queen, is very wise and usually um, always right. Thank you for watching Quest Kids. Every week, our team of young heroes will quest for knowledge, adventure, and fun. If you'd like to quest with us, please subscribe and be sure to check out our other videos with Crash, Flint, and all the other characters of Treasure Halls. And remember, a Quest Kids quest is never done.